we're working hard uh, here to the finish line, and I'm, I'm confident we'll have to do a one-week extension, but the agreement's coming together, and we're going to keep this government up and running uh, as we deal with the issues. Are we going to have this America. conversation again next Friday? Uh, we're probably going to have to have another conversation, but at the end of the day, I think we get through it, and we get through it this year, we can move on to health care and also tax reform. And is there, is there any chance that uh, someone tries to throw in some monkey business between now well, and next Friday, <laughs> given that we're going to push it off, and, and who knows what happens in seven days? Well, of course, it's Washington, D.C., but that's why I'm working in a bipartisan way with the Problem Solvers Caucus, to give other alternatives. we got some Democrats coming across that are taking leadership roles to, be, uh, to avoid a government shutdown, and that's the, the fundamental position we're trying to right. get to. Realistically, you've probably done the count. Uh, where do you think uh, the repeal and replace of uh, health care ACA stands right now inside the House? Well, I know we've been working the last few days uh, late into the night, and uh, we're getting very close. It's going in the right direction. Uh, I think we're going to be able to move this bill uh, sometime next week is my, my goal. And I think we get there, and then we're going to have to deal with the Senate. That's a whole other process. You've got to do the, the, uh, the tax reform question. You've got to do it the same way. Oh, it's, it's no, coming. no, I, I want to, and Andrew's got to ask you. you, what, you okay, what, I'll what ask you. What do you want me to say? Congressman, you couldn't, if you are intellectually honest, you couldn't possibly be supporting this tax proposal. That, if, because if you, as if currently you, constructed. As it's currently constructed, it, it, you it, must it, be against it because any intellectually honest person would, by definition, be against this, uh, this travesty. Well, I, I, what I'm fundamentally against is the existing broken tax code for the American people and the c competitive disadvantage it puts us on the Come world on. stage. So we got to move forward, and we're leading in the House, and we're Get engaging him. now in the White House, and we're going to push the Senate Act too. Get him. Hold on, hold on, Congressman. Just, just, just when you when you looked at that plan, which was a plan as a pay, it was one one piece of <laughs> paper as a page. <laughs> Did you look at that as a plan? You looked at it as something else? I mean, if, if you, you, you wouldn't approve the plan, the plan as that one page stands today, would you? Of course. I mean, being on the committee, working on these issues for seven years, uh, the de details matter. Uh, but putting the paper out helps a great deal because it gives us some guidance. And if you look at that proposal from the White House, a lot of what we're working on in the House, on the individual side, corporate side, we're going to do the whole tax reform for everybody in America because that's the right thing to do. Does it have to pay for itself? You know, with growth and dynamic scoring, I think you can get there. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm concerned about You've the deficit. Have you seen debt. any math that suggests that you can get there? I've with that, seen with the, with, the, with the numbers that have been currently uh, put out well, there? Well, obviously, obviously getting to a 15% uh, rate is very difficult uh, in a revenue okay. neutral uh, way. But that doesn't mean you don't give up trying. It doesn't mean you keep on uh, engaging in the debate. And that's why I appreciate the White House no, putting I, this I, out. I because Congressman, my answer on, on the break was, I don't, don't even score it. Just do it. That's what I, that's what I told him. You didn't like that, that answer. Well, right? only because everybody was living. <laughs> growth. Let's For the get past some couple growth. of years, we, we would have these fix the debt campaigns. You remember those? Yeah, but we spent we had, $10 we, we trillion. These lies, the above pins we on. We spent $10 trillion. And, and now everyone is saying, oh, it's a, you know, deficits don't matter. I don't know. I well, don't know. Let, let, let's uh, hope that common sense and not the bean counters out of Washington, D.C. dictate Thank some of these you. fundamental policies. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.